up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we are going to be talking about the India Scout and primarily the Indian piggyback shocks right here that this bike came equipped with. I really, really like these things. Um, we're going to get on the bike. We're going to get on the road and talk about my experience on a Scout um, before I had these on and now my experience with these on. Um, and just talk about the shocks all in general. Now these piggyback reservoir shocks are really, really easy to use for your compression, rebound, and dampening. Nice little easy twist on top. Then you can also adjust it right there in the bottom for the rebound. Um, it's real simple. It looks good. It's a clean look. And it does the bike justice. Let's close this up. Give you guys a quick little walkthrough of what we have in the garage right now. So we have my uh, 2020 Lowrider S my recently acquired 1983 fxr love that thing with a twin cam swap in it project uh, i bought it as a project and i'm going to continue to work on it it's a lot of work to do this bike but i absolutely love that thing and then my 2021 road glide special so basically three unfinished projects <laughs> yeah that's what we got and then we have the india scout which is just a loner from india so huge shout out to india motorcycle for sending this bike out to me i've had this bike for probably going on close to two months now i believe um this bike is an absolute joy man it really is i was going to originally go up somewhere and do this video somewhere else where there's a lot of twisties but yeah it's all the roads are wet man it's been rainy all day and there's leaves down everywhere so yeah we're not gonna do that today but anyways this 2022 indian scout rogue is a lot of fun um before we start diving into what i think about the suspension on it right now which you can get on the uh indian parts and accessory catalog online um, I want to talk about the bike itself. Well, the stock shocks. I've been on an Indian Scout before, and I need to be honest with you guys. I, I didn't really enjoy it too much because of the suspension. I, the suspension is not, like, it's, it's really not good. The stock suspension is really not good. So that's what kind of always deterred me away from the Scout it was just that it's just a really really rough ride and it's not fun and then you got a rough ride and you got four control it's just and then the way that bike was set up before scott rogue is way different scott rogue you got these mini apes still got the four controls um and now especially with these these are add-ons so the bike doesn't come with these uh they were nice enough to put these on and i gotta tell you it, it's 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 blown my mind the shocks are amazing. Like I said, simple little twist to adjust their rebound, their, your rebound, your dampening. Just everything is so easy to use right there in the bottom. They look super clean. And I've been taking this bike out on a few little twisty roads. I've been taking this bike out on the highway. I've been taking this bike out local rides like we're doing right now around town. And um, I'm really happy with the performance of the shocks. If I must say, I could probably compare these to like a Legends. These are like a good comparison to like a Legends. They're as good. Um, they feel great. They're easy to use. And then at that, there's just a plus. So these are actually a bit cheaper than I think if you were to buy Legends. They, they're go around the same price. These might be cheaper. I don't know. These are around $825, around that price range. I don't know if it was $825 or $845 around there, but for $800, you're gonna change the whole dynamics of your bike. And most importantly, you're gonna change how you feel about that bike. You're gonna enjoy those rides a lot more. Now, for those of you wondering who are not really too familiar with suspension and shocks, you're probably asking yourself, well, what's so good about this? Why should I? invest in these shocks um a they're going to soften up the ride a lot more like i said before stock shots are extremely extremely stiff not even stiff to the form is like hey they're stiff to enjoy a nice 
ride through the twisties. No, they're just really, really hard, really rough. So they soften up your ride. They're gonna give you about an inch of height as well. Um, so you get a lot more travel. But then at the same time, if you are feeling adventurous or if you're just the type of rider who just likes to ride a bit more aggressive and you like a bit more of a stiffer ride, then you have the option to adjust everything and make your ride a lot more stiffer. It's a lousy day out here in dirty Jersey. I mean, now we have, we got partly skies, partly cloudy, bluish skies. There's one thing that I, I am trying to do before that freezing cold comes is enjoy these nice, beautiful days. So today is around like 60-ish degrees, so not too bad. Put a hoodie on, go off a nice little local ride like we're doing right now and enjoy the weather. Can't complain, can't complain. Now, if you are also a rider who likes to get really, really into those twisties, um, these are gonna help you out a lot, man. They handle very well. The bike responds very well to them. It feels great and most of all, you know, you're gonna feel comfortable, man. Now, I don't gotta sit here and try to sell you on these things. This is just my honest opinion um so take it how it is take it with a grain of salt but they're really good <laughs> when it comes to bumps they uh pretty much absorb everything pretty well it's not that bad i mean right now i've got it kind of right in the middle not too stiff not too soft hey <laughs> So if I did one more of a plusher ride, I could do that. I don't, me personally, I don't, I don't like too much of a plush ride. Um, and I also don't want it to be too stiff either. I kind of like it right in the middle. That sounded so bad. <laughs> now, I ran Legends on my Road Glide. I ran Legends on my Dyna before that I had. And right now on my Road Glide, I am running the Screaming Eagle and Olin suspension on there. Um, got rid of the regular Legends. So that's the type of knowledge that I have with suspension, installing them myself, playing around with them. Um, and it, it takes some time sometimes when you, when you have all these options, which is a plus um, To adjust all the settings it, it takes you quite a bit of a time to get out there and ride For quite a few weeks in order to find uh, the perfect spot for you, you know Anyways, that's my little take on the Indian piggyback reservoir shocks if you guys are in the market or if you do have a scout rogue or a chief then uh definitely look into it man you will not be disappointed anyways i'm gonna catch you guys uh on the next one i'm gonna keep enjoying this beautiful day and this nice warm weather we have today like always if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button to notify you anytime i upload any type of new content if you want to see more content on this scout rogue or uh future uploads on indian motorcycles hopefully we get another indian another loner next um kind of want to do more content on indians um when if you want to see more content on the bikes that i have in my garage there's a lot of content there you're definitely in the right place like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby Peace.